done. And ladies, just so you know, go in the future, girls like to dance, and as a group, guys don't. And it's just because they're chicken. Huh? So when you got to find a, a guy that's brave enough to learn to dance, think yeah. I dance studio, I'm going to dance class, and there's only like five people. Okay, but what I want to do is I want to explain how we're going to stand together to dance, and I want to figure out how we're going to work this out with everybody. But first of all, just so you guys know, a couple of things. The guy's going to come up to dance here. He's going to put his hand out like this. And Latin dancing, we tend to be kind of high here with our forearms together. The guy's going to take his right hand and put it right back here on the girl's shoulder blade. Ladies, as far as I'm concerned, God put that there as a handle for me. <laughs> that's why it's there, okay? So that's where my fingertips are. I already jam them here. I want a good grip. Now, ladies, you have a very important job there. Because what I need from you is solid right here, okay? When you put when you put this hand here, put it on the front of the guy's shoulder, keep the fingers together and put the thumb on the other side, right on the front of the guy's shoulder, pretend he's got a muscle, pretend to be impressed. It's important to encourage you guys. <laughs> All right, but also, I want you to keep him away. I want some pressure right here so that I can't move her to me. This hand, I've got a grip on her. This is my space. But it's his space, yep. and he's not allowed in. Space. <laughs> this hand goes here, and same thing, ladies. Keep this hand really firm, solid. Because what, what has to happen during this dance, I'm going to move for another round. And if she's all wimpy here, I can't move her. Right? You're trying to pull on something soft. Right? Soft and springy stuff. You can't pull because you just... Right? So, ladies, this needs to be solid all the way across here, all the way across the backbone, right to the hips. Nice and solid. Because when I'm dancing with Carmela, she doesn't know where I'm going to go. You know she can follow me right now? Most of the time. Okay. The reason she can is she's holding very solid. She's centered. You maintain your center, which is right here. Maintain balance. Heads up. You can't be balanced with looking at your feet. Because what does it do to your body? You look at your feet. What sticks out? You put your head down. And look at your feet. What, what part of your body sticks out? Huh? Your butt. All right? Do you remember when you dancing around your butt sticking out? I don't think so. Okay. I just figured out how to... Um, so head up. Hmm? I just figured out how to do the guy's part in comparison to this one. Okay. Well, it's, it's going to be the same thing. But, okay, the guys have to stand really straight and the guys have to be strong and solid. The good news is most guys are chickens, so when you step on the dance floor, they're already stiff. <laughs> Right? So that's less of a problem for the guys. Most of the guys get this. Most of the girls have a really tough time with this, and this is really important. This is lock solid. That way, when I move, she moves. Okay? She doesn't have to wonder what I'm going to do, because she's just going to go with me. That's what makes dancing, couple dancing, work. No matter what type, whether it's waltz, polka, you name it. Frame. We call this frame. And this is really important. Okay? Otherwise, you don't know what your partner's going to do, because he's not going to say, okay, now we're going to the side. He's going to go. And the only way you know is you're going to feel him move. God will move you basically with his chest. There you go. Okay? Let me, let me borrow you for a second. Relax. Well, relax, but I want you to be nice and see that hand there, right on the front. Okay? Good. There we go. Perfect. And don't let this arm relax. Okay, and hold, and hold your center. Stay really balanced. So if I start to knock you off balance, you have to step, right? Because that's what we're doing. See? You got it. Very good. Okay, ladies, this is what's going to happen. Basically, I take my partner and I push her center to where I want her. What happens if you move the center of your body? Well, if you don't move your feet, you'll fall down, right? So you have to think about it. If I grab you by the center and I move you, your foot automatically goes there. That's what we're going to be doing together. Let's try this with you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I took a shower recently. Okay. That's great. There we go. Mm -hmm. So you go up the still way. Now stand nice and centered. Maintain your center of balance. There you go. Nice and firm here. There you go. Now just relax a little bit. More pressure here. Push against this. You can feel my fingers? Push against it. Okay. There you go. Now balance. Stay balanced, right? Movie. See what happens? You don't have to think about your feet. Okay, you got the right idea. Let's try you. I'm going to make, you might, you might work with him a little bit. I'm not going to go for him. I just have to do the part. Well, you can do that for now. Yeah. I 
Okay, that's all right. We'll put this in here. Of course. There you go. We didn't push this in with it. There you go. See what happens? Now, just stay right there. Don't lean again. No, stand straight up. Straight up. You put your lean forward. There you go. Square shoulder. You see what happens? There. See what happens? If I move, you move. And you move your feet. Perfect. Dancing is about center. For, for those of you, anybody here take more, any kind of martial arts? Taekwondo? I've taken one class. Okay. To teach you martial arts in, in Korea. It's called Ki. This is your center. And this is what you move, whether you're dancing or fighting, or using a sword. It's all the same techniques. You move your center. Your feet move for you. Okay. So you can get a feel for the girl's part. You're not the guy. <laughs> Stand here. Here we go. Stand straight. There you go. There you go. Okay, very good. Now, one of the things is when you dance, keep your feet together as much as you can. Right? We're not going to dance like this. We're going to dance like this. Yes, feet are close together. And part of that is, if your feet are way out here, your center is stuck in the middle. If you move to this foot, I can move all the center here. All right? It doesn't look very dancey, does it? So what I do is keep my feet close together, and my center is easy to move. Okay. Um, quick question. Show them the side set. Step. 